landscaping. Have you ever tried the idea that I have here at the Fixer Upper Home? Well, I tried putting in drain rock. Covers up beautifully, keeps those weeds down, but what happens, the stones get out onto the grass, and when you hit them with a lawnmower, they could be dangerous wherever they end up when they start the flying. But also, I've tried putting in this plastic edging, but it just doesn't work. Look at the weeds, the way they grow up around, because i got to come in with the Husqvarna every time and trim the grass all the way around that plastic. Sometimes it catches hold of it and whips it out of the ground. Then I have to come along and do the grass cutting. Well, I thought what I'd do to correct this, I'd come in and have, uh, well, an innovation, a real innovation idea, quick curb. They're going to put landscape bordering all around uh, the landscape area and give me a curb that I can run the lawnmower wheels on, making it quick and fast to do that uh, lawn trimming job. And with me today to take care of this problem, I have Peter Liscom of Quick Curb. How are you doing, Peter? Good, Joe. Great, beautiful day for what we're up to here, I'm sure. But, uh, Peter curbs and all this border business and quick curb what's it all about well quick curb is continuous concrete edging for around flower beds and borders like that you mean to get rid of all those rocks you mean keeping them back where they're supposed to be yes what we're going to do is hold these stones back but what we've already done is we removed the turf around the flower bed mm -hmm. and we're going to sink this curb down to the leading edge here and raise it up here at the back to hold in these stones. Now, you mean to say that I'm not going to have any more of that black plastic uh, cribbing material? No, we're not going to have any more black plastic, and uh, you'll be able to run your lawnmower wheel along this edge. Boy, that's going to make uh, cutting the grass so much easier. Yes, it will. How are you going to do it? Well, let me show you. What we brought, Shell, is we brought the Edge Master. Uh -huh. The Edge Master is a self propelling curbing machine. Right. We'll put concrete into it, it will feed itself backwards. So you're going to actually steer it backwards? Yes. And it's going to be allowing the curb to, well, it's going to be spewing it out and following you. That's right. We'll just steer it around these nice contours that we've developed. You can call it the creepy curb, maybe. No, I don't think so. I think we'll stick to with quick curb. <laughs> well, let's see you get at it. Okay, let's get started. Well, Peter, that section went down quick. That's why it's called Quick Curb, Shell. Now, that was one wheelbarrow full, and I see Doug there is trawling. What's that process all well, about? Well, what Doug's doing now is taking out any bumps that we may have got in the curb while laying this section. Now, the bumps uh, being that any imperfections in the, uh, the actual finish at that time? Yes, what we want to do is have a nice flat level curb when we're finished here. Now, when you have it flat, that's when you're going to do the stamping, is that it? Well, that's right. Once we've got to that point, what we'll do first is we'll lay another wheelbarrow load of concrete, and that'll be about another 15 feet, and then we'll stamp that. Well, I see the concrete here. My goodness, that's a dry mix. I, I just can't get over how dry it is. You'd wonder how that would even form the way it is there now. Well, yeah, you can see there's no moisture on our hands here at all. Absolutely not. It's almost dry. It is very, very dry mix. We need that so it won't fall over. Well, let's get at it because I want to see you uh, when you come to the stamping. Okay, Shell, let's do it. Peter, that curb doesn't look like uh, concrete anymore at all. In fact, it looks like individual bricks. That's right. And with the stamping process we've done, we'll also see the slate look, too. Oh, so there's, uh, with that two-color special process a Quick Curb has, you're going to give a two-color to match the, the home. That's right. Well, we better let you get at it, and we'll be back tomorrow to see what the next process is. Okay. Well, here we are back the next day, Peter. You got the whole front yard done. Gosh, it looks nice. Now, you've got uh, the release agent all washed off. What's next? Well, what we're going to do here now, Shell, is we're going to put on the sealer, and what that should do is that should pop those two colors right out of there. And that's what Doug's going to do with the sprayer I see here. Yes. Oh, I can see what you mean. The color really comes out. Peter, that contour line looks absolutely great. That nice, windy wave in there, and quick. Well, that's why we call it Quick Curb, shall we? Well, gosh, thanks for the Quick Curb. You're welcome. You Thank bet. you. We'll be back with more Home Check right after this. <laughs>